Today, the state began calling witnesses in the Everett Miller trial. He is the man accused of killing two Kissimmee police officers during a confrontation back in 2017. News 6's Nadine Giannis is live outside the courthouse tonight. So, Nadine, one of those witnesses was a woman who made the 911 call, right? Yeah, and that's where uh, things got a little emotional, especially for Officer uh, Matthew Baxter's wife, who was crying in that courtroom today. It was about as emotional as it got, and that's how they started today, the state flying through witnesses. Take a listen. It looked like there was a man. I don't know. I just heard two gunshots, and I looked outside, and the cops were here. As the state replayed the 911 call made on August 18th, 2017, Officer Matthew Baxter's wife, Sadia, and family wiped away their tears. The state today laying out their case against Everett Miller, charged with killing both Officer Baxter and Sergeant Sam Howard. The state not only calling the first witness, who from her porch saw the two officers on the ground. When the vehicle, the dark vehicle left is when I seen the two cops on the ground. But also calling the first officers who responded who through scene pictures showed in court today and even video leading up to the moments before the shooting explained what happened when they pulled up to the scene. I started uh, hitting his shoulders, hitting his chest, calling out his name. And he didn't respond at all. Correct. I shook Officer Baxter. Um, his eyes were closed. His head was tilted to the right. Um, as, I, as I shook him, I went to do a, a check. I believe I check, tried to check up for a pulse on his, on his wrist. I, I remember shaking him, you know, his, doing a, a, a sternal rub on his chest. Um, and when I went to check, I believe I went to either check a pulse on his neck, I saw what appeared to be a gunshot wound behind his left ear. And so the state obviously calling emotional witnesses, but they're also introducing these witnesses to introduce the evidence they say they have against Everett Miller and how they're tying this evidence to Miller. We're going to talk about how a Pittsburgh Steelers hat comes into play with their case coming up at 5 o'clock. Ginger, back to you. Nadine Yanis reporting live. Nadine, thank you.